Well, I'm sitting inside the lobby of the Harper's Ferry Post Office waiting for it to open because I have a package of stuff that I want to mail home and they don't open until 9 o'clock. So I got to wait 10 more minutes and then I'll mail my package and hit the trail. having a hard time getting out of Harper's Ferry. Um, there's just so much to see here and I keep stopping along the way at every little thing. But then I realized that when I got down this little street that there was probably a place I could get a Slurpee, so I did. So I'll sit here and enjoy this and then head on back on the trail. And I haven't even finished my icy. tonight and did close to 18 miles today and had a good day. Lots of hikers on the trail and um, a lot of section hikers and day hikers and just really busy here in Maryland. And I think I'll um, be close to hiking out of Maryland tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't know, I think there's only like 40 miles of Maryland, something like that, not too much. But um, had a good day and the weather was pleasant and the train was good. So just kind of ambled along and enjoyed it. Good morning. Getting a seven o'clock start. Slept really well last night. Much better than I did in the hotel the night before. And um, I was a little nervous that it might be loud at camp last night because there were so many section hikers and there was a family with some small kids but when well, it was all said and done everybody was asleep i think by nine o'clock and um so supposed to have great weather today it's really nice and cool today which i really appreciate and can enjoy and we'll see what we see just want to say happy birthday to austin my son-in-law. Happy birthday, Austin. Thanks for being such a great husband to my daughter and such a great father to my granddaughter. You're an awesome guy and good luck tomorrow on your first day of your new job. I hope all goes well. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm in Washington.
Washington Monument State Park. And you can tell the trail is really nice here. And then they have a timeline as you're walking along about key points in Washington's life. So I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> off because they were really dirty and I couldn't get them clean and I thought I'll wait till I get to the next water and wash them good and I'd had them hung them on my sternum strap and then um and I'd done it to adjust it and then I realized later that that my glasses were missing because when I adjusted it they must have fallen so I dropped my pack kind of knew the area that it probably was in it was in like within the last half mile so I backtracked a half a mile after I dropped my pack looking for my glasses and didn't see them and then when I turned around to come back started walking and then I found them I can't believe I found them but just added a mile to my day but a mile with no pack so and I have my glasses so I really can't complain just got to be smarter about where I put them so I don't lose them when I'm not wearing them Absolutely gorgeous day today. I did 18.9 miles plus the mile round trip to retrieve my glasses. <laughs> but um, the train was good. Maryland's a pretty short state. I think I just have five miles left tomorrow and I'll be in Pennsylvania. So i um, hoping for this great weather again tomorrow. Lots of day hikers on the trail because of the beautiful weather and it being the weekend. And so I'm anticipating that tomorrow it will be a little more quiet on trail. My goodness, what a beautiful morning. I cannot believe how nice and it is. It's so cool and I hope it stays like this all day. I just have about five miles left of Maryland and then I will be in Pennsylvania today. To me, that's pretty darn exciting. Never been to Pennsylvania. Kind of walked to Pennsylvania. So here we go, off for the day. Little side note, maybe of interest. This won't surprise my husband at all, but um, when I went to go put my hair back in the ponytail this morning, I got to thinking, when was the last time I combed my hair? <laughs> and it was when I was in Florida for my son's wedding reception. So it's been over two weeks. I hope I don't end up with dreadlocks. <laughs> maybe I'll comb it sometime in the next few days. So I'm here at the Pinmar County Park, which is like two-tenths of a mile before the state line, and um, we're into another hiker here who's going into town, and 
So I'm going to share a shuttle with him. I just need to pick up a few things. Uh, my allergies are bothering me and I don't have any more allergy meds. And so I'm going to run into town real quick and do that and then come back to trail. And just like that, I'm at Walmart. Okay, I'm trying not to have a meltdown over the fact that they are sold out of chili cheese Fritos. Deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. I decided it might be wise if I took a COVID test and it came back positive. So this is me over here at a picnic table by myself and all my hybrid buddies over there. I guess I'll be quarantined for a while. Felt like I should take it since I'd been sick for a while and um, I was going to stay in a hostel uh, tomorrow night, but now I won't. So just keep hiking. Kind of sad about this but there's nothing i can do so here's the story behind me not feeling well so way back in waynesboro when i was staying at a hostel the last night i was there there was a guy in the bunk above me who was coughing and hacking and i heard him on the phone to his wife saying he was coming home he didn't feel well he was a section hiker and i'm thinking dude if you're coughing and hacking why are you staying at the hostel she got in a hotel room. Well, then for like three or four days after that, I kept thinking, am I getting sick? Am I getting sick? And, and I wasn't sure. And then um, I was around someone else who come to find out wasn't feeling well. And then I talked to another per hiker that kind of had the same symptoms I did. And she'd taken a COVID test and it came out negative. And she was, I think it was just my allergies. So that's why I started taking allergy medicine. And then when I stayed at a hostel in Front Royal, the, um, I still was just feeling tired. And so I couldn't tell if it was from hiking so much or what. I don't, I didn't know what it was anyway. So the day after I left, I got a text from the owner saying that his wife who had shuttled me I tested positive for COVID. I thought, well, I already had my allergy thing going on, so isn't that? And then it kept getting worse and then better. And then when I'd heard that some other people had tested positive that had been in the same area, I thought, oh, I better just get off the trail and go take the test. That gummit. shoes for 700 miles uh, it's time to replace them you can see there's a hole here on the side and it's really kind of falling apart at the toe it's really not attached that toe guard thing and they've just really taken a beating I probably should have changed them out about a hundred miles ago, but by the time I realized that, I thought the best thing to do was to order a pair and had them shipped to my sister who's coming out to see me next week. And she's going to bring them with her, but until then, I'm going to have to make do with these. I'm starting to count down the days till I get new shoes and of course see my sister.
Well, I ended up going 14.4 miles today because I had that side trip into town to go to Walmart and um, and I was tired. So I now I know why I've been tired the last four or five days. <laughs> I just thought it was because I was hiking, but I think there's a little more to it. And so I think I'm just gonna do uh, 15 to 17 miles the next few days until I'm feeling better and then and ramp it back up. So I have a beautiful campsite tonight. Um, my plan all along was to stop at a shelter and get water and have dinner there, which is what I did. And when I got there, there was one other uh, female hiker there and there was a guy there that was, I don't know, just made her uncomfortable and I can see why. And so she decided to hike up with me um, another mile or so and dry camp here tonight on Chimney Rocks. So we're at Chimney Rocks and beautiful view and um, can't complain about beautiful weather today at all because it's been nice and cool and breezy and really enjoyed it. And it was kind of nice doing a little slower day. So we'll see how it goes.